So I got another story time for y'all, man. And this is one of those stories where I got to take you all the way back in time to my freshman year of high school. Now, if you've already seen my first time getting catfish story time, go watch it. Then you know that I had a thing for making very stupid decisions. And out of all the mistakes I've made, this probably got to be one of the worst. I'm not going to lie. But enough of these talk. Let's just jump straight into the video, man. So before we get into what happened, I gotta give y'all some backstory. So for my freshman and sophomore years of high school, I went to an all boys private Catholic school. But this school wasn't just your average stereotypical predominantly white private school where you had to test in and have a certain grade point average to make it. This was one of those schools where all you had to do was have enough tuition money and not be a serial killer and you pretty much made it in. Like this is basically just a public school that you had to pay money to go to. They even had a bus that would drive to the inner city every day to take kids to and from school. And because of this, I honestly think that this school was probably one of the most diverse schools in St. Louis. Like you literally had rich white kids and hood with criminal records all in the same school. You see, I had a habit of gravitating towards the menaces, which is exactly how I got my little dumb ass in this situation. So the three main characters of this story are really good friends of mine whose names were Jacob, Chris, and Santino. Now these niggas were known for being devious as hell. They was all on the wrestling team. Santino was a state champ. Jacob used to get drunk at parties and knock niggas out for no reason. And Chris literally threw a nigga down a flight of stairs for talking shit. But look, 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 look. That's a story for another time. Let's just get back to the topic. So this story takes place on a Halloween afternoon and me, Santino, Chris, and Jacob were all staying after school because we were going to this haunted house for the holiday. But while we were waiting for our ride, we were faced with a problem. And that problem was that we was all hungry as hell. And our ride wasn't supposed to be arriving for another hour and a half. So we put our minds together and start brainstorming on how our broke freshman asses was gonna get some food. When out of nowhere, this evil Chris says, you know what? We could go steal some snacks out the Welcome Center. Now you see, the Welcome Center was basically a lounge where the principals and all the head administrators hung out on their break. Like, not gonna lie, the room was nice as fuck. It had a flat screen TV, a nice comfy couch, and most importantly, a mini fridge with a load of snacks and Gatorade bottles stacked to the brim and this idea instantly made me nervous as hell because at this point in my life i hadn't stolen a goddamn thing before and these were veterans at it not only that but my mom was strict as and would literally beat the black off of me if she ever found out i was stealing from school and ground the hell out of me take my phone lock me up in my room i wouldn't be able to go nowhere shit i was basically gonna be a prisoner but anyways so while they were planning out how they were going to execute this plan, I'm sitting in the corner just rethinking my whole life choices because I could not see a reality in which this ended up turning out well for me at all. But at this point, I low key had no choice because it sounded like they were ready. So I swallow up my common sense and prepare for my demise. So everybody begins breaking the plan down to me in depth. And the plan was that we were going to split up into two groups we were gonna walk around the building to make sure there weren't any teachers around and when the coast was clear two people were gonna stand outside in the hallway for lookout while one went in and did all the dirty work now in hindsight that seemed like a good plan but the problem was that in order to pull something like this off you gotta be stealthy and we were everything but that bro like we made it so obvious we brought so much attention to ourselves that we literally attracted a whole crowd of people to us they ended up just following us around trying to see what we were up to yeah bro 
this was bad. So us and our army of like 12 people ended up just marching through the hallways. And when we were sure that there weren't any teachers around, we made our way up to the welcome center entrance. When we get there, we decided that Chris was going to be the one to go in and hit the lick. So he asked for my bag because nobody else has one and walks in. So everyone's just sitting there tense. And we end up sitting in complete silence for like five minutes. So I text Chris to make sure he's good. And about a minute and a half later, he responds saying that he got the loot. An instant wave of relief just hits me until out of nowhere we hear a door open from down the hall. While our dumb asses was walking around checking to make sure that all the teachers were gone, we forgot to check all the classrooms. So my heart just starts beating rapidly as I hear footsteps approaching us. They're just getting closer and closer, louder and louder, and I'm just standing there in pure agony as the head principal walks right past us and straight into the welcome center while chris was in there bro i cannot fathom to you the feeling of dread i felt as i seen an angry red tomato face ass principal charge through the welcome center doors with chris right behind him bro just standing behind him looking starstruck we got caught so goddamn hard bro but here's what makes it even worse man as soon as dude walked through the door, for some reason, everyone else except for me, Jacob, and Santino had the common sense to run the f*** away. But of course, my little dumbass had to be the only nigga to sit there and go, hmm, Washington, well, everybody else is running. Maybe they'll check the cameras and bust all those people. But if I stay, then you'll probably let me off the hook. Bro, when I tell you I couldn't have been more wrong, in fact, the exact opposite happened. This dude came out the door hot. He was like, really, fellas? Really? So you guys are stealing from me? And we were just in there speechless until he says, so no response? Okay, to my office, now. So we just begin the walk of shame while everyone just stares at us as we walk by. And I just feel my goddamn stomach drop because I know when my mom hears about this, I was going to pound city. This was not good. But eventually we make our way to the office. And as soon as we step through the door, we're met with like a whole platoon of principals and administration standing in a line with their arms crossed. Muffs were standing there looking like the Legion of Doom. Bruh. So eventually they take us in the office for individual questioning. And even though I didn't actually steal anything, I still got lumped in because of association and the fact that he used my bag. And although I tried to use every excuse in the book, nothing worked and I still eventually had to call my mom. So I ended up getting cussed out, not being able to go to the Halloween party, and got three days of ISS. Yeah, nigga, I got a triple whammy combo. Moral of the story, man. Don't steal. It ain't worth it. And you eventually always go end up getting caught. Love you. Subscribe. Bye.